Hey YouTube, Coach Chris here from Holiday Tennis. Today we're at the beautiful Fairfield Inn Toronto Airport Hotel and I'm coming at you today with a 10 minute uh, tennis hotel routine. It's something that you can do uh, hopefully wherever you are in the world uh, and it'll get your mind and your body into a bit of uh, tennis shape. So uh, here we go. If you like this, uh, I would love it if you subscribed and liked the video and uh, shared it to uh, your tennis friends. All right, let's get to it. All right, first things first, I'm going to put my uh, racket on the ground. We're going to get to that in a second. Let's just do a, a bit of, uh, you know, dynamic movement. We have a little bit of space uh, in our room, which is pretty sweet. So uh, I'm on my bare feet and you can do just like these soft side shuffles back and forth relatively easy. If you want to get into a bit of rhythm, you can do this one where both your middle feet are going into the same spot. Practice keeping your head pretty stable. So um, anything I like, I like to work on uh, whatever tennis movements we're trying to mimic. So this will be a bit of a lateral movement. We'll do a crossover and stick it. We're trying to hit that crossover as wide as we can. This helps us in our recovery movements a lot. That's pretty good. And now a bit of, you know, forward and backwards. Again, this is just getting the blood pumping a little bit. Okay, we'll do, um, we do a lot of lunges in tennis. So if we can start with some side lunges. Again, trying to keep that head stable. Really stretches our hip flexors here. On those wide balls. Do one more. And these are exercises that are really good to incorporate into your kind of daily routines. I'll be honest. Other than the time I'm on my court with my, uh, my students doing the warm-ups, I don't generally do these in my day-to-day -day life, uh, but I am starting to do them a little more uh, just to, to have a solid base of activity. So my, you know, my mind and my body are kind of staying in shape uh, no matter what I'm doing in the world because I've currently been off coaching for over two weeks. So it's like, got to keep... Got to do something to keep the mind all right. Sometimes lunges are uh, can be a little hard on people for their for their knees, so you can, you don't have to do these. These are a little hard. Um, again, it's a bending movement, so sometimes it hurts, but uh, it's a pretty standard one. Do some squats. So these are body squats. Um, again, if this is a little too hard, you can get over here on the couch and. Again, even doing something like that is good. And if you want to make that a little harder, onto one foot in balance, try it on the other side. So these are, this is kind of helping you get ready maybe for like a return to serve positioning. So now we got that warmed up. Um, the body, a, a bit of rotation, try to have a wide base, try to have a wide base, um, you know, in most situations in tennis, and it's good to practice that kind of off the court to get used to it. I look at someone like Djokovic, who has a super wide, uh, you know, neutral stance, so you got to try to push that or else you'll be standing like this and not use your lower body at all, so I like to get nice and low, and any anything in the stance is good, so this is just a bit of like rotation, and very similar to what we're doing on a forehand in terms of our our movement. And I'm kind of feeling this here. It's a, uh, you know, a bit of a stretch. Imagine I'm having like a medicine ball in my hand. You know, just any type of movement in this position I feel is is beneficial. We're, we're loose. We're loosening up this part of our body, which for me is, you know, pretty stiff so 
these are kind of sometimes overlooked parts of our uh, our body that need to be taken care of a bit. So again, that's a bit of flex, kind of dynamic flexibility, which is good. Um, if you want to do a bit of strength, for sure, like I always encourage doing push-ups. So you know, these are kind of normal push-ups. Set of tens, all right. Um, I also like, you know, if you want to work on a bit more uh, explosive, you can go kind of like three on the way down, one on the way up, just to kind of make that a bit more difficult. If those are uh, a little too difficult, no worries. You can just go on your knees and do like an assisted push up, which helps our upper body up. Again, these are just kind of like basic home gym exercises but uh, it's good for tennis players to incorporate them yeah, and if you want to this is you can put your feet here if, it makes it a little harder if you don't but you can as well like some basic setups get the core working um, if you had some sort of medicine ball like even without a medicine ball it's kind of good to open open up the lower or the, the midsection here feels good Anyways, that's probably pretty good. That's like a, we're warming up uh, right now. Now it's um, time to grab a racket. Uh, and again, like after being off uh, off the course for two weeks, even just holding a racket is uh, is good. Um, kind of forget the feeling of it when you're uh, you're not constantly holding on to it. So just having it in my hand is okay. Uh, probably. Uh, and again, haven't swung the rack in a while, so I'm just gonna get nice and easy. Try to get as much of a, you know, like this is kind of my semi-open stance. Practicing this, I'm grooving my strokes, trying to extend as much as I can. So I see a lot of, you know, club players doing a little too much, um, coming across their bodies a little too fast. It's just, you know, one of the the things I notice. So. Even in my game, I'm trying to extend it as much as I can. I'm really trying to feel my lower body initiating this whole swing. And because of that kind of bit of dynamic warm-up and active stretching, my, uh, my hips and groin are a little more uh, you know, relaxed right now. So that opening it up is huge. Again, you can, don't even need a racket for this if you don't have one. Just practice that weight transfer and follow through and staying still. So that's a bit of forehand action. Um, again, probably just gonna groove. I'm, I'm not doing, I'm in a hotel room, you know, you're in your house, you can't really go super intense, but what you can do is, is keep the muscle, uh, the body a bit loose. You know, working on, if you're in a, Working on that, maybe that uh, left, uh, for me, my left hand, the non-dominant hand. So again, I'm in my forehand position. I rotate it, I get it back, I open it up, let it go for my backhand. So like, we might not be necessarily focusing too much on the, you know, pure 100% force re uh, repetition, rather uh, kind of the little details that sometimes get overlooked on the court. Uh, so I think for a lot of club players, this left hand, doing practice indoors, this kind of shadow routine is um, super important for your development because, you know, if you're struggling to be confident in what grip you're using on the court, um, practicing um, something like this off court is super beneficial. So now we're in a, vol a bit of volley, so some forehands and backhands were here. So in this one, I would say, uh, to practice your volleys are you always want to have kind of that forward momentum so even if it's like one of the hardest volleys for me to hit is this high back end so a lot of the times I get here and then I flop it down and I miss it I'm not too strong so I'm trying to work a lot on uh, opening it with my left foot maybe even backing up a bit so I'm able to uh, punch forward but as much as I can uh, just trying to reach forward with that so it's a a two-part volley and even just again I'm not using a ball but I'm trying to visualize as much as I can I'm trying to keep my head straight um, bit of volleys 
And then finally, to finish it up, uh, we're going to have a bit of serve action. Another thing I'm personally working on right now, so like this is a home routine uh, for you, but it is for me. Like this is my, I got to work out right now, which is pretty sweet. And what I'm working on in my serve is to not open it up. So another coach on YouTube, Coach Ryan from Two Minute Tennis, uh, has an analogy of knocking a birthday hat off your head. So I'm trying to work on that because that's going to create a bit of a tighter loop and uh, a bit more effortless power, which everyone is uh, chasing. So, you know, I'm here. So I'm like, and I'm practicing having my left hand up as well. Um, and then, so I need these, I need these repetitions as, you know, as much as you do, as much as the, any player, because I haven't played, you know, relatively competitive tennis in about three months and I'm going to be, you know, put into a situation um, very soon where I'm able to play. So um, doing stuff like this, keeping your mind, keeping your body. Maybe I need to have my left hand a little more up. Then I can probably practice that a little more stable. Practicing going down. So this is my serve now onto my, my toes, holding that, you know, coiling back. So. On this one, I'm not practicing my follow through on my serve, um, more on the preparation. Um, so that's about it. Like, uh, so that was a bit of a, you know, a couple exercises you can do. Uh, you know, I'm in a hotel room right now, but you know, you can be doing this in your house. It just requires a bit of motivation. Put on some tunes, um, put on this video, watch it. Uh, hopefully you're inspired to kind of uh, continue your tennis development uh, even if you're stuck at home and off the courts um, but yeah that's uh, that's the Fairfield Inn uh, hotel uh, routine tennis routine if you made it this far in the video I appreciate you watching this uh, let me know in the comments what uh, what you think of it and what other videos you'd like to see uh, I'm really trying to make 2021 a big year uh, for YouTube so let me know in the comments below what you think. Subscribe, like the video, uh, tell your friends about it. All right, take care. Have a good one.